Welcome back. There is one key component to having a healthy relationship with others. Look into the mirror, and there it is. It starts with you. It's a ripple effect if we aren't happy with ourselves or mentally where we need to be, right? Joining us to expand on this is Ryan Haddon, life and spiritual coach and meditation teacher. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. This is so important for everybody right now. So why is it so important to access your highest self in order to be you know, a little bit better in your relationships with others? Well, you know, we are human beings. We're mind, body, and soul, right? There's many aspects of us. We have the ego and we have unprocessed emotions. We have some of us traumas that we haven't unpacked. And all these things can run point in our life and they become triggers with our relationship with others. So we find ourselves getting reactive and we don't know why. And we find that we're not our best self with other people. And so that does affect our relationship with others and certainly with ourselves, right? If we're not kind and loving to who we are, but how do we curate that? So it's, it's, it's a funny thing, but here's what we wanna know is that when we put the effort into curating a, a relationship with a higher self, meaning that part of you that pops out of the ego and all those mucky muck of the emotions, you pop out of that into that part of you that is infinite and timeless and wise and loving, closer than your hands and feet. It could be God, source, nature, whatever you define as that, and you curate that relationship, then all the relationships around you start to calibrate and start to improve. Certainly the one with yourself, but absolutely your relationship with others. And every plan needs a strategy, right? What you said sounds fantastic, but we got to get there. So how do we kind of get that plan in motion? See, everybody knows this, but they're like, have this reluctance to, we always want to numb out or run away from ourselves in some way, or think that some solution outside of us is going to access, help us access that peace and tranquility and calm. And sometimes it does temporarily, but here's the things that really drop you into presence with yourself. And you can access that higher self that we're talking about breath work. Find a great breathwork program to do that. You can do a four, seven, eight breathwork where you breathe in for four, hold for seven, exhale for eight. Super simple. Set your timer for two minutes. Do meditation. And if you've tried a meditation and you don't like it, you're not doing the right one. Try something else. There's many different types. So find the one that's best suited to you. Doing a nature walk that's where you're really present. You put your phone away, music away, just like a walking meditation, mindfulness, when you're washing the dishes, really bring yourself through your senses into that moment. These are ways that we can curate and drop past the 60,000 thoughts that are unconscious that we have throughout our day. And then we wonder why we feel so disconnected from ourselves because we wanna move from unconscious into conscious awareness. And that's where we access our higher self. And you talk about something called radical self-acceptance. Mm -hmm. So what is this and how does it impact everything around us? Why is it so important? <laughs> Leanne, I love your face. You're like, oh, what is this radical self I'm curious. You know, it sounds tricky, but it's not. What it is, it's so simple, my friends. It is about just allowing yourself to be wherever you are in every moment, right? So instead, we have all these resistances. I shouldn't feel this way. I shouldn't be angry. I shouldn't be upset. It should look like this. I should be behaving different. It should be perfect. All these ways that we trip ourselves up. So radical self-acceptance is, first of all, again, bringing awareness to who we are in that moment. Oh, what's going on for me right now? And then accepting it. I'm upset, right? Why am I upset? What's going on? Just allowing those feelings to move through and getting curious about what's coming up for yourself. Because this higher self, it's not something that's over there. It's right here. And accessing it is through peace, stillness, and acceptance of what we're feeling in every moment. Because we can't spiritual bypass. We can't be somewhere we're not. We can't be peaceful when we're not peaceful. So we have to accept where we are in all the myriad of the feelings that we're having. All right. That make us human. Yeah, some great advice. Like I always say, we're not broken. The pieces are there. Sometimes we just need put back together, right? That's right. They're right there. All right. Thank you so much for your time. And make sure to follow Ryan there on Instagram and also RyanHaddon.com.